welcome my fellow Terran players to another like G kind of GM replay analysis that I'm gonna do. Uh, this is one of the games I played yesterday that I thought was extremely sick in terms of like it was amazing in in terms of like tenacity. It's one of those games where I was really considering leaving almost, and the the whole point of this video is gonna be to try to convince you guys to, that not leaving early is it is important as well as um why I, I want to explain something very specific of what i like what i chose to do here okay so or we start off with the normal tvp right he's doing he's gonna do his normal like come in annoy my scv all that all that good stuff we're gonna speed through the early game a little bit i don't want to make this video too long but i also want to give you guys a good idea of what i'm talking about right so i go for my normal one base expand into a one 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 I kill the probe. Every Protoss player, Protoss players always send their probe in later after. They always think the Reaper's gonna move out. So I'm probably gonna make a tips and tricks video on this as well. But every single time you're playing a Protoss player, just leave your Reaper at home for like 10 to 15 seconds. And if you don't make a Marine like I do, and you'll get probably get the probe. If you're at the higher level, of course. Uh, lower level Protosses don't think about, don't remember to do it that often. Um, so gonna come in here. Kill a probe or two. I want to say I get two. Yeah. And then I lose it. Yep. That last shot, but I still got three probes total. I don't lose the SCV. So, so it's a good start. The worker counts even. I'm, I'm chilling, you know? Good start to things. I, I, I wanted to go for a Widowmine drop here. I have not been trying the Widowmine drop meta. So this is very new for me. Uh, you know, I'm about to get an armory and things like that. Still, like, yeah. Kind of float it. I'm. I know. I noticed that I'm not spending my money very well right here, like in the game. So, but I kind of just didn't feel like building extra production yet because I didn't feel like I had the worker count to go with it. But here we are. So I come in here with the drop. It doesn't do very much. It does cause a lot of lost mining time though because I have the armory. So like if you look at the income tab, you'll see his income vat like drastically drop. I also have some marines in here. The marines get some. They are able to target out probes. It's also very weird because I never play against Phoenix. Like, I never play against Phoenix, really, in TVP. So, it was interesting to know. I like playing against Phoenix, though. It feels very, relatively easy. But you look at the income. For almost a minute now, I've been mining over a 1,000 more resources than he is, even though he has those workers. So, at this point, I thought this start was amazing, right? This lib ends up doing nothing. But at this point, so, when I have a really good start like this, I take the Korean approach to ending the game. I'm like, I, so I'm like, okay, let's build go up to five barracks and let's get plus one and let's end the game like that's the plan and i also notice here that i i tend to i, I really over make scvs like this lib i meant to queue it up to look to like go to the mineral line but he just kind of stops he just kind of chills and i'm like uh okay got a probe whatever not very good obviously so I'm coming in here, and with the two base all in, you only really want to have 46 workers. So I was just accidentally making SCVs here. And, uh... So I decided to pull the boys with it. Pulling the boys was not part of the plan, but I have a bunch of extra ones. So I just take a lot off the mineral line. I'm like, all right, let's go. Still have, you know, plenty of SCVs, right, uh, mining. And so here we go. I killed the Oracle, and I'm, I'm going in, right... And the army supply is 65 to 38. And I also have SCVs with this. Like, I'm about to do ruin this man's day completely, okay? Like, this is about to be a raffle stomp and a half. So I, I burrow my mines. And here's the problem. Now, Widow Mines tend to favor both sides of the equation. They can either be really good or they can be the most traitorous mines ever. So we're going to come in and these Widow Mines right over the Marines. Boom. Boom. They end up just killing most of their own army units. So I'm now down in resources lost, and my army's just getting rolled. I'm getting Rick rolled right now in this in this fight. I've lost the SCVs, so now I'm down 20 workers. Like at this point, like I was very tilted, and I'm thinking like, ah oh, man, you know, like maybe I should leave type thing. Uh, because at this like I'm like ah I don't I don't really have anything going for me, you know. But then I think to myself because I have the armory already. I think. I have to keep pushing. Like, at this point, I'm too far behind economically to try to get into to a better, like, stable, more stable economic position. And I want to be, like, I'm going to be relying heavily on my micro, which, when, like, it's the same principle I think Protoss players use. You get, I, I, so I only go for weapon upgrades because 
you're only the only goal is going to be doing damage i'm not trying to like necessarily live like i'm trying to trade so i want to trade as well as i can so i don't get a second ebay i don't invest in that and i just get weapons upgrades because it costs less and i can still continue to produce i can still have enough workers to continue to produce off of my barracks and i started to make scvs again so that i can get back up to like 46. my army is puny though like i have 42 army supply 10 of it is in widow mines and Eight of it is a medevac, so I really only have a uh, thirty or twenty-four army supply with the bio units on the map. So coming back in here, right? That's what I'm talking about. Like I get cleaned up here with the observer, and right now I'm like, I am so dead, you know. Like I'm losing marauders on the chase, on the come comeback, and uh, but I decide that you know what, we're just going to. Uh, we're gonna see what I can do, you know? Like, flex my micro muscles a little bit. See how much, how well I can control. So we come in here, right? And I, I did well chasing the stalkers, but I'm assuming there's gonna be another tech on the way. And there is, there's Colossi on the way. And obviously Colossi, put, Colossi puts me on a timer, as, so, as well as his 2-2. So we're gonna speed this up. I'm kiting some zealots. My plus two weapons is about to finish. So I'm, I'm kind of like healing up, waiting for that. I make some more medevacs, all that good stuff. He sees that I, I have a little too much for him. And I also do this too. I lift my main because I only have five patches left. So I'd rather be mining off a full eight patches, especially if I'm all inning him, right? I want the most resources possible with this all in. Like, I want this to be backed by fire in terms of like, like the worker count is a differential of 30 now, but the army supply is still relatively in my favor and I have an upgrade lead. Now, immediately, of course, what to do next, but start plus three weapons, no armor. Like, I, 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 I know that this game cannot get any... I can't get in any better of a stature. And I also assume that he had an observer somewhere over in the middle part of the map. So, I break these rocks and I, I scan. I don't have any idea about this fourth base, but if we watch from my vision... I'm like, okay, well, let's just go up into the third and see what we can do. Take out important pylon, depowers the robo, and if we look at the everyone's vision, Colossus, about five seconds from done. He warps in another pylon. Like, so all we're about to do is we're just about to watch the micro occur. Go in, grab a Colossus, keep going. My units are shredding his because of the damage upgrades, and now the army supply is still the exact same, except his is plummeted. Another Colossi. This is a mistake, I think, by me. I, it's by a shield battery, but I'm trying. All I want is for him to not be able to gain any momentum. So what do we do? We stem in again, and I just try to target it down. He did, and I get it. I actually got the Colossus, but my units have, like, no HP. So... I target the pylon, stop the zealot warping, but look at these marauders. They have no health. And here is what I call, you know, masturbating, for sure. Pick this up. The Colossus and the Stalkers are ready to follow me. Little Mines are about to finish. One goes off. Stalkers blink in. And the other one goes off. And the dropping marauders get the kill. Third Colossi down. And all that's left is zealots. So right now, I'm thinking like, okay, I killed all the Colossi. I definitely have a shot you know, at this moment. And if I look at the army supply, oh yeah, I have a little more than the shot. My plus three is halfway done as well, and he has not been able to clear out my mines. He's even warping an observer right now. All I gotta do is keep poking and prodding, poking and prodding. Let this happen. Do a little bit of fancy micro, pick up micro. Pulls the probes off the line. I was macroing, I'm assuming, for a second. I get to kill all these probes. You saw, I actually did that on purpose right there. I moved out of the way of the Observer because the Observer was about to friendly fire my, my, my uh, mar mar Marines and Marauders again. But since he pulled those probes, I'm now actually ahead economically compared to him because this base is not saturated. I Once he pulled the probes, I knew he was kind of getting desperate. And so... But my, my unit is still have very low health and I really need the Widow Mines to still put in work. So... I also keep making medevacs because I've seen him be targeting them with his stalkers. Now, I die for this pylon here because, in my mind, if he gets out any more colossi, this could get really dicey, right? Go for the pylon, cancel the warp in of one zealot, and stop the colossus, colossus from being warped in. Another pylon. Stim again. Killed the warping in stalkers. You know, targeting the right units. Good, very well done by him. Like, we're fighting with so such scrappy and few units. But uh, soon I also make a choice. I think it's like right here, I want to say. Very soon. Maybe after I go in here. Oh, this is also very lucky. He used his warp in because he had a bunch of extra gas to warp in sentries. Right when my own, I made a ghost. 
because I thought it would be very helpful, I guess. So I made I made a ghost, right? And so the EM just for EMP because there's a bunch of zealots, but perfectly timed. He warps in four sentries. Big EMP right over everything. Colossi comes out, and I here's where I'm getting a tiny bit nervous. But I'm thinking I have four Marauders with plus three now. And uh, the plus three Marauders, I, I'll ask a little in that meta if I can die. Plus three Marauders do a butt ton of damage. So right here, I'm getting like, ah, man, maybe he held, you know? Maybe he managed to make the hold happen. Uh, this Liberator comes in. Liberator providing a good buffer zone for me to kill the Nexus. And the push just isn't stopping. We are parade pushing all the way down here. Coming in. I back off for a second. And... There's a some point that I just like. Actually, it's not. Here. I don't know. I don't. I don't. So I. Let's go back to analyzing the. Oh, it was right there. I go ahead and lift my natural. That's the beautiful thing about Terran in these situations is that you're able to continue mining as long. Like you never just have to sit on these mineral resources. You know, like, there's still eight patches here total. But why have eight patches when I can have sixteen? Type thing. And yeah. So I come in, I finally have enough Marauders that I'm like, okay, it's time to get this Colossus. There's no shield batteries warped in or anything. So we come in, I dive on it, get him. And at this point, I'm thinking, okay, as long as I don't bleed units, I can win. So you'll see me doing a bunch of fancy micro here. He gets the Liberator. I didn't even notice him targeting it. Now we get this pylon. Look how close this Colossi is, dude. Like, this is so clutch. Warpin stops, pylon dies, stalkers die. And with that, we brought the game. The game was in our hands, and then we lost, and then we brought it back from the jaws of defeat to a fucking W. And I'm proud of that. So, yeah, that was my little analysis of one of my favorite wins I've had in the last week or so. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, and if you do enjoy this type of content, please uh, consider subscribing. I hope I was able to adequately run you through my thought process. And uh, yeah, check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv, 12 and I will see you in the next YouTube video. Have a good day. Peace.